Welcome to Tuesday Night Club. Yay. Yay. Uh, lovely to see you all. God bless you. New faces, old faces. Everyone watching at home, <laughs> thanks for joining. We hope we've got everyone on the front row who has to be on. I had a, I used to have a full head of hair. And then <laughs> Tim and I would get these emails. Where is my front row link? And my fringe would just... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't want to pick out which ones of you are, are divas when it comes to that because uh, <laughs> Richard Gill is a very dear friend. <laughs> Good evening. How are you, my love? You're right. I'm fine. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm all the better. I'm all the better uh, for seeing you, Richard. Is that That's great. Not a, hang on a minute. What, is, what what top combo is this? Is the, if you combine two old tops and warm at the same time? Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that and the weak orange. <laughs> When lockdown lifts, Richard, I'm going to come round to your house and I'm going to pour you a proper glass of orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> and it will blow your mind. Do you, put the, do you put the orange in first and then the water, or the water and then the orange? <laughs> Richard, the problem is is that you don't put any orange in at all <laughs> <laughs> nobody's ever said that <laughs> it shouldn't be as translucent as it is richard okay <laughs> you're not doing jesus christ it was absolutely terrifying the way he did that uh thanks for as always richard the professor jamie lee how are you good thanks how are you God bless you. It's the first time he's not changed his name from the prof, so it's finally, <laughs> finally sunk in. Uh, Emma and Glynis, give us a wave. Jeez, are you on the beach at Honolulu? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're being you... sultry tonight. God, please talk us through. It looks incredible. Oh, sitting in the living room with no the lights out, with the mood lighting on. Jesus Christ, I've, I've, I've never wanted to live with Emma and Glynis more. <laughs> down the, the lockdown haircuts and things or oh, non-haircuts yeah, Emma and Glynis mm. you look a billion dollars at the best of times but with that mood lighting I swear to God I feel like I'm at the Oscars <laughs> <laughs> I look at you, I see Oscars I look at Richard Gill, I see Butlins <laughs> <laughs> I've been to Butlins <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> so Tom O'Connor there. I think that might be the the least surprising thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Not just that you've been to Butlins, but that you loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you see there, Rich? Tom O'Connor. Yeah, absolutely perfect. <laughs> uh, Jake and Jane, give us a wave. Hi. Hi. I thought for a second you were wearing the same top. <laughs> and Jane, oh, it's a scarf. It's a scarf. Jane. Uh, I'm, so, I'm so I got you that for Christmas. I'm so glad you wear it. <laughs> uh, Mark Burbage, give us a wave. Hello, I'm Monica. Mate, you're a, you are a hero. Right, <laughs> Christ, what's going on there? <laughs> she's on a very small chair. Oh yeah, she's on the small chair. That yeah, yeah. That's how I'd have finished that story as well. It's a small chair. It was a very unfortunate angle the way she came up there. It wasn't her that was coming up. Um, <laughs> For the first time in, in more than 130 online gigs, Tim, our tech, and Mark, it was the sweetest moment ever. We do a seven, we do a seven o'clock show for the newsletter. For the first time ever, Tim had to mute someone, lovely Mark Burbage. His crime was laughing too much. <laughs> <laughs> and the mic was a bit hot. No, Mark, that is, that is the kind of audience member we can get behind. We're very grateful. The fact that you, you've, got, you've got the same beard... No, no, you've got the same beard and headphones as Noel Edmonds, and we're very grateful. <laughs> <laughs> can we just, can we, what's going on in that small chair? Can we just get another? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> just seems so harsh. Can you not tell me? <laughs> I, offer, I offered to sit there so she could sit here, but she wanted to sort of to be out of sight a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I feel terrible now. Madam, please sit back down. I apologise. For... The fact that you both got matching headphones looks like you're both about to sing oh. fucking Band-Aid. <laughs> Well, tonight, thank God it's them. <laughs> um, ma madam, pl please, uh, please sit back down. I feel terrible that, you, that you've stood up. <laughs> no, she's fine. Nah. You sure? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> uh, Ali and Ruthie, thanks for joining Hello. us. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Thanks for joining the front row. Great to see you. Alec Worsfold, give us a wave. Wow, the only person who makes Richard Gill jealous. <laughs> Greatest laugh in show business, Alec Worsfold. Thank you. Finally, a bit of firepower instead of Richard Gill's weak, puny laugh. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us, Alec. Alec's laugh is superb. Oh, Richard, not like that. He will not like that. Uh, I'm not so Vic, how are you doing? Very well, sir. So do you do, do you do yoga at seven o'clock? Is, is this correct? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it just felt very defensive how you said that. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just wondering if you're going to ask us to show something. Everyone <laughs> <laughs> yeah. at home, everyone on the front row. Adam and Dr Vic, would you please do a yoga pose and everyone at home, we will all do the same one. That will help <laughs> generate a bit of energy. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that literally that's all we're getting? All right. <laughs> Can go and do it. Go and do a headstand behind this, but I'm not sure everyone else is going to be able to do that, James. <laughs> Tim, 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 please, can you get Adam and get Adam and he'll do a headstand? Here we go. Right, everyone, right, here we go. Here we go. I will. A lot of pressure. <laughs> That was absolutely <laughs> I tell you what, Adam, genuinely, that was extraordinary, and you did that immediately. And the reason why I wanted you to do that is because it's building up because now. Jill and Ken, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do yoga years ago. <laughs> you know what, Jill? Oh, hang on. Ken's giving it a bloody go. <laughs> Absolute G. That's why he's the number one. Some of you wonder why Ken gets special treatment. He's the king. King King. We all wish we were Ken, but we're not. There's only one Ken. <laughs> Sorry, kids. I've just woken you both up. But it was worth it. <laughs> Kenneth. Gig number 131 peaks with Ken pulling that out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> you absolute hit. All right, hang on a minute. As if the night couldn't get any more fun. Look who's just logged on. Give us a wave. Roy Goring. Hey! Hey! God bless you, Roy. Roy, Roy, we love you so much. And if there's any kids watching, they're asking the mums and the dads why they can see the perfect outline of your penis and testicle. <laughs> <laughs> the tightest shorts in show business. God bless you, Roy. He's not been able to cross his legs since the early 50s. <laughs> Roy, you're well endowed and you're showing it off, and that's why we love you. God bless you. <laughs> and now it's Ken's turn to show off. <laughs> <laughs> right then, front row. Exactly how we want it. Pure chaos. Uh, we'll, get, we'll get Marcus and Rachel uh, on now. Oh, you're perfect. If we mute you, 
It's nothing personal. It's possibly because you're laughing too much. Mark Mervin, <laughs> baby, that was golden. Uh, we'll build the applause at one to ten instead of ten out of ten. We will go quite fitting after that. Roy Goring's perfect <laughs> testicles out of ten. <laughs> Let's go straight to seven out of ten. Hey. Hey.